What's going on guys, Unknown Player here in this video, we've been going through my flawless trials loot, so I just managed to go flawless on of course the map Last Exit, the first one of Rise of Iron, of course keep an eye out for a trials highlights video as well, that'll be up on my channel as well where I edit down the best bits and show you the complete run, but for now we're just going to go through all the loot, to the weapons and armour and everything else I've picked up from playing the games normally at game 5 and 7, and of course the lighthouse chest as well. So first let's look at the primary weapon, I picked up two of them, this thing is the Exiles Student Adept, so of course this is from the flawless lighthouse chest, the the gold weapons are only obtained from the lighthouse chest. The normal blue ones, those are from normal trials. The gold ones are from the chest and they're the flawless rewards. So the thing was absolutely awesome. Definitely one of my favorite sets of weapons in Destiny. We have an all gold set, which looks so, so cool. Now, if you look at the perks, of course, we've got Hammer Forge, we've got also Extended Mags and Hidden Hand, those ones I've gone for. You could alternatively go for Brace Frame for more stability or Explosive Rounds if it was PvE and also Firefly as well. So you can kind of change between if you want this for Crucible or PvE, which is interesting. Of course, one thing that all the Adept weapons that come out of the Lighthouse chest have is an intrinsic perk, and this one is Snapshot, which is a really nice addition. So every single gold weapon comes with the perk Snapshot for free, just like how Last Resort was for Year 2. Now, in terms of its archetype, of course, it's the faster rate of fire and lower impact. It's kind of similar to the Thorn. It's not like the Hawk Moon or most of the hand cannons you know and love, like the AS Luna or the Margot Luke. This is closer to the Thorn, which fires a little bit quicker, which I'm not really personally a fan of. I'm going to give it a go for sure and see how I like it, but not really too fond of this archetype. But we'll see how it goes. It's got very strong perks, so I'm looking forward to using this weapon, although it does need a lot more range. The range is definitely lacking on this weapon for sure. And of course, it dropped for 381 because I was around 379 when I opened the chest myself. Now, moving on, we also got an auto rifle. This is the Vision Stone. And as you'll notice, it's not gold. This is the blue version. I got this from my seventh game. So this is, of course, the guaranteed weapon when you win seven games of trials. And of course, that will drop at the end of the win. And of course, you'll also notice this doesn't have snapshot. It just says connected damage. That so doesn't come with the intrinsic perk that all the flawless weapons come with. Now, in terms of perks, we've got Send It. We've got Injection Mold, Lightweight Hand Loaded, Rodeo, and Crowd Control. So really, really good options for stability and range. So this is looking like a decent auto rifle. Definitely going to give this thing a go myself. Self. And I'm loving how you can change between kind of PvE and PvP if you want to be crowd control as well in the end. Now in terms of the ghost shell, I picked up this thing from my gold tier package, the exile shell, and this thing looks so so cool. It's shiny gold, just looks so good in the light. The perk's the same as pretty much any ghost shell, so this one actually has the titan bounty, and also the worm spore and the dreadnought perk, so nothing too special there. But in terms of how it looks, it just looks so so cool. And it's also intellect discipline, so pretty decent right there. Now in terms of the armor pieces, I managed to get the gauntlets from the Flawless Lighthouse chest. So there's nothing special about these, just the normal armor set. But of course, this kind of had the ornament as well. If you apply that there, you can see how it looks. It kind of takes away the kind of shoulder plate and adds on that really nice like hologram as well, which looks awesome. The perks on these aren't too great. We've got Fusion Rifle Loader and Discipline Strength, so nothing too special. And now the next thing I got is the chest piece, the Lion's Vigil Vest. This thing came from my fifth win, so like you get the guaranteed weapon, you also get the guaranteed armor at the fifth win, and this thing dropped as well. Not too great in terms of perks. We've got Auto Rifle and Sidearm. We've got Arc Armor, which is decent, and Discipline Strength, so it's not bad. 381, so it's definitely cool looking. Especially on the Gauntlets, I love how it's like stripy with my shader. I've gone right now. I'm using the old guard shader, the really black one. And the arms have these really cool stripes. I absolutely love the effect. This armor is really, really cool. A lot better than I was expecting. I wasn't really a fan of this armor initially. But actually seeing it in game with the shaders, it does look really, really cool. Now, some other stuff I got, of course, was the emblem. This is the Flawless Trials of Azaris emblem now. You can only get this from the Lighthouse chest. If you see someone with this, they've gone flawless. And that's a really cool emblem, kind of replacing the old one. You can see I've got right here. And now the final thing I've got is, of course, the ornament. You get that from the Lighthouse chest as well. As you can see, Flawless Vigil Ornament. Use this token and Silver Dust to activate an ornament for your Trials Vigil Armor. So, of course, these ornaments will only drop from the Lighthouse chest. There isn't a set of armor that only comes from the chest anymore. Instead, you get these ornaments. If you see someone with an ornament, it's only come from the Lighthouse chest. And that's kind of the extra special thing that you do get. And this, of course, the visual customization for your gear. As you can see, I'm applying it to my armor right here. You can see what it looks like. It kind of adds that hologram, which looks really, really awesome. And, of course, it's going to cost you the one ornament and five Silver Dust. And also, these ornaments aren't specific. You can apply them to any armor piece. So I could pick the gauntlets or the chest and I can apply the ornament to it. And that's how that works. I really, really want to get the cloak and an ornament for it because it turns the cloak into basically a hologram similar to the flare cloak, which looks awesome. So I definitely want to get that. And all in all, yeah, very good loot. Really happy with the stuff I've got so far. I'm especially loving the gold weapons. I think it's so, so cool. I was always hoping they'd add some kind of gold weapons in Destiny for Trials loot. And it just makes so much sense with all kind of like royal theme, like the gems and the treasure. 
treasures you get from the chest. I think the gold weapons just makes perfect sense. It's such a good addition. And these weapons do look really, really cool. So looking forward to more trials runs and getting more loot. And of course, keep an eye on the channel for more videos, especially that highlights video showing my complete run and basically edited down to the best bits. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you've gone for all this yet and anything you picked up, or maybe if you're going to try on it a little bit later. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like rating if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.